We're with Newberry College head football coach Todd Knight following the final preseason scrimmage before we get ready for Florida Tech preparation. Uh, saw a little bit more rhythm out of the offense today, I thought. I agree with you, Josh. You know, I think with the ones and the twos, you know, a little more click to it. You know, we've been in camp for a good time now. The kids have found a rhythm. You know, and you, you got to get that combination of, of the right – about 15 kids with the ones and 15 kids with the twos as you're rolling out and jumping in and out of different formations and that kind of thing. And they just got to, to gel and play together, and you can really see it starting to come around at this point in camp. Lots of big chunks of yardage, especially out of the ones. Um, but a few penalties we saw as well, but they were able to make up for it. I think you're right. You know, we we could explode for 15, 20, you know, but then we would have a mental mistake, a receiver stalking, doing a great job downfield and got a little uh, careless with his hands at a time or two. And then, you know, we we, uh, we jumped the snap count a time or two and it stalled it for a minute, but I think the talent kicked in and, and again, that chemistry and they, they moved the chains and got it done. But a little sloppy with some flags today on both sides of the ball. We got a week and a half to clean it up because, you know, eight hours away from home, there's no telling what we're going to get from the officiating crew. You know, we got to make sure we, you know, cross all the T's and dot the I's and make sure we're ready for anything when we go down there. Talking about the offensive and defensive line like we have all summer, it feels like lots of leadership up there, great battles on both sides of the ball today. Uh, there's no doubt, you know, I'll Steve Squarewell, I thought he had a great day coming off the edge. You know, I thought Hayden Wilkes had a great day, interior uh, offensive lineman blocking. So you're seeing some of those older guys, and that's the crowd that we're really going to rely on. Do we have talent on the back end, talent at quarterback, running back, DB? You know, sure, we got some speed, we got some talent, but the strength of our program is up front on both sides of the ball, and that's the crowd that we're going to depend on. We've also talked a little bit throughout the summer about the, the, the small differences on special teams that can win and lose a ball game. Won them two years ago, lost them last year. Talk a little bit about the battle that's been going on for that kicking job. Well, you know, Kyle Clark, all everything, his whole career, he, he is holding down the punting duties at this point, very solid with that. You know, the, the really where the battle's taking place is with a field goal job. Kyle struggled last year. This year, I think the competition that we have out here right now has brought out the best in him. I thought that the kid would probably want to take the pressure off himself and let these other two or three kids battle for it, but he is fighting you know, tooth and nail every day to hang on to the job, and that's making all of them better. We probably got a three or four way run right now for guys chasing that field goal job. Talking about chasing jobs, it seems like the last two or three practices that I've been out here at the end in the huddle, you're moving some, upgrading them from the JV locker room to the varsity locker room. How about the, the competition level this year without having to knock each other in the head too much? Well, you know, I think the maturity level has got to where we wanted it to be around here for a while. It's finally there. Our kids have learned how to practice smart, tempo-wise, practice fast, execution, absolutely, but smart against your own people. Don't take the kill shot. You know, make a nice, safe tackle. You know, don't cut a guy. And, you know, the possibility of hurting your teammate. You know, lower your pads, make him use his hands, slow him down. Our kids are, have gotten older, a little more mature, and I'm proud of the way we're handling that and practicing at this point. It seems like your next meeting as a coaching staff is going to be assigning numbers, assigning seats on the bus, assigning ones and twos for that depth chart. What are some positions where that decision is going to be really tough tomorrow morning? Well, you know, again, I said that to the kids before we ever started the day, make my job hard. Make it tough on me to make a decision. If you come out here today and, and just you know, go through the motions, you make my job easy. I can, you know, spot it right away. Okay, you, you don't have a seat on the bus, but, you know, DL-wise, there's still a question mark for a kid or two outside linebacker. And, you know, for a, a third string tailback, we're trying to decide which one of those guys we're going to take because we're going to need three, maybe four in Florida with the heat. So a couple of spots here and there trying to make that decision first thing in the morning. And then the last question for tonight, I've noticed some guys who I remember when they were here on the recruiting visit, and now they're out there with the ones and twos. Who are some of the guys that are kind of making themselves known as a top guy after 
making up for some graduation holes in the past. Well, Jamarcus Henderson at defensive end, you know, he's not the biggest guy out here, but he was a defensive player of the year when he was coming out of high school. But he, you know, he's not a 6'4 kid. And when you look at him out there at defensive end, you think, golly, what's that little guy doing there? But a motor, strong, the kid can flat play. When I think of somebody that's just come out of nowhere, that's the first name pops in my head. Jamarcus has had a great camp, and he's going to have a heck of a career here with us. All right, Coach. Well, thanks, and have fun with that meeting tonight, deciding who's in what seat on the bus. Well, I'm excited about trying to get the right people in the right seat, and we're going to do that first thing in the morning. All right, thank you very much, Coach Knight. More on NewberryWolves.com.